Hey there, this is Tumok, and we are back with more Rechain of Memories. In the last part, we went, well, we started Wonderland, and so then we went to the trial, and, and Alice was on trial, I'm assuming again. At least, according to, I'd say, according to Thor's perspective, that'd be again, and we leveled up. Anyway. Uh, it helps. But, and she said, because the queen's memory was stolen, and she she blamed Alice. So, but then Sora said that he stole it. So then she attacked us with her cards, and we beat the cards, and we got a card card. It seems like it'd be pretty good, but it costs a lot to equip it. So I'm probably not going to use it. Anyway, so right now we're just running away from the cards, even though they will never show up in random fights. That's why we were given their boss cards. Anyway, so yeah, we're just going along. Right now, we're in... There we go. Because I didn't see the roulette pickup before. There it is. Come on, use it. There we go. You blocked an attack, and... There we go. Now, what do we get? Or what can we get? Ooh, a Moogle room. There's a bunch of them. So I'm gonna try and get that. Yes! Moogle room. For some reason, I can't seem to get these. And is this door low enough that I can use it? No. Is it? Alright. Where I can get a treasure room, so I can show you guys this. Yeah, treasure room will just have one treasure chest, and it has, this one has a stop card. I don't really use stop. In fact, I hardly use any spells in my tech. Alright then. Uh plot door. So we'll come back to this. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you contain what? The Lady Luck card. Lady Luck is a better card than the Kingdom Key. This I think yeah, I think in the journal it says the stuff about cards, card index. Attack cards. Yeah, it required. The Kingdom Key has the best uh, CB requirement for it, but it's also the weakest. See, it's a plus C plus C combo finishes level D, but it's actually an overall a better card than Kingdom Key. So I'm actually going to see what level that was, and I will replace a kingdom key card with it. And that's what I generally do to upgrade my deck. And what was I'm trying to think what, was, what level was that Moogle card? Alright, wait. Wait. Four, four. They're all level fours! Crap, I can't use the Moogle room right now. Maybe I can get you to drop me a stronger move. Alright. And of course. Come on, yes. Come on. Not that I really need to heal this much. It seemed like it required not, not a whole lot of experience, but it was enough, and you, you should probably try and pick up the cards relatively fast. So, since the only stay on the ground for a while. Like, what are, I'm trying to think what other games have used this crystal experience. The only game that I can think of is, is uh, Legend of Mana. Alright, a level 8 treasure room. I should probably not get a whole ton of these right now, or else I'll be fighting nothing. 
All right then. So. Uh, no, don't attack. Jump. Jump over the shadow. All right. Now this is level four. Uh, what should we use? Can we? No, we can't use that. Silly fool. All right, we'll use uh, meeting ground. I was too close. I was too close when I started to swing. That's probably it. And smash. Get back here. And smash again. Come on, Goofy. He must have been aiming for that shadow. That's why he doesn't give me the reaction command combo. Come on, hopefully this is... The only way looks like it. Oh, bomb darkness. Yeah, I was actually mistaken about the teeming darkness. There's just a ton of heartless in that room. It's teeming darkness that you'll only fight shadows in that room. So let's just continue murdering these heartless. There we go. And what was this? A save point! Just what I needed! So I didn't have to go out of this world to save between parts. Whoa, oh yeah, I forgot they actually shoot at you. Because I said they were defensive. Great, I happened to hit a shadow when I killed that. Oh, there we go, there's stun impact. I just need to increase my card level. I to do it. Alright, come on. And let's do this again. Come on. Don't go in the ground. I, or did I kill it? I don't think I killed it. Come on. Are you the last? Looks like it. Darkness again. And another fire card. I'm trying to think. Is the boss of this area if it's what's its element weakness? I think it's ice. Not that it particularly matters. Since I think all the elemental attack cards cost the same amount of CP as the levels. Alright. And more teaming darkness. Let's get up. I said let's get up. Alright, there we go. You can take nothing. What are you? Alright, you're actually where we need to go. Now for the number, you need to put in that amount of cards, like level 8. I've actually done now. There you go. And let's hurry and get, out, get away from this. Since this is really bad. There we go. And Alice ran away. Things got a little crazy back there, but at least you're okay. I don't mean to be ungrateful, but was that true? What you said? Are you the thief? What? Of course not. Why would I steal the queen's memory? Yep, Sora said that because he wanted to save. To show off. Of course, Donald. Is that right? Well, you saved me all the time. Thank you. And we have probably the creepiest character in here, or at least in this version of Wonderland. Feeling better after you, after that mad dash, are we? Oh, what? What you're not out of the woods yet? Of course we're not. Wonderland is essentially woods. 
And now this music cut out as well. Whatever. The queen, the sticker for just sticker stickler for justice. She won't forget till she remembers. She won't stop hold hounding you till you get her memory back. Did she forget because she remembers, or does she remember that she forgot? Doesn't matter, I suppose. I don't know. I think we ought to just stay away from her. Yeah, that's that's a good point. But Sora, what about Alice? If the Queen catches her, it's off with well, you know. And I guess we'd better do something about the Queen. You should do something, but you don't have to do anything. Huh? An action is a choice as well. If you can't remember something, it's like it never happened. Likewise, if something never happened, you can't remember it. Try too hard to remember, and your memory might lie to you. Lie? That's all I'll say. The rest is for you to figure out. Quite. Alright then. Now with that, where's this actually teleports to? That, that, uh, no, I'm not gonna put in a blue card there since I don't have the, the, uh, door to, to reward. I think is what it's actually, what, what it's, what's it's actually called. I don't have that, so I'm not gonna use this another card get to there. Right, and I forgot which way I need to go. Oh, actually, it's just the boss now. So... I'm actually going to reset this room as another roulette room to try and get a Moogle card. So, hang on. Alright, and I've leveled up, so I am going to increase health again. And hopefully this will fix the music that just barely screwed up. Alright, I managed to get it so I can set a Moogle shop. Alright, so let's do that. That was probably like eight minutes or so. Since I was actually killing things. So let's... First of all, let's raid the room before we can talk to the Moogle. Alright, so... Alright then. Actually, we need some help. A little bit more than that. And it... Let's, so let's talk to the Moogle. Moogle Shops is a Moogle establishment where you can trade in cards. Exchange cards you don't need anymore for Moogle Points. Save enough Moogle Points and you can trade in them for a new pack. You can, eh, you get, you can get free card pack from the first time just from visiting the Moogle Shop. Here's your free card pack. Oh. This will happen every time. Alright then. And I believe it shows you the cards in degrees of uh, usefulness or power. So, and I don't think it showed you, or it did the free cards in the GBA version. So what I usually do, I just buy as much as I can and sell back the crap. Oh, that is a lot of Lady Luck cards. That's what I like to see. Still, oh, that was a premium card. Premium cards sell for a lot. So that's probably the only use I'll actually use them for. It's just for reselling. All right, pretty okay cards. Yeah. Right now, everything will basically. These are all just basic packs, by the way. All right. Ooh, a premium fire. That's pretty good. Later on, I think the most expensive pack you can buy actually costs like 700. Another Simba card. That's. I don't see that a whole lot. And another Simba card. Alright. 
So before I do anything, I am going to see. Actually, we can't put any more cards in. We don't have any space in our deck. So, uh, in the next parts, we will be going through this door. So, this has been Tumok. See you. He's really tall.